It was an ugly game to watch because it was at Tropicana Field. And it was an ugly game to listen to because John Flaherty was calling it. The only thing that wasn't ugly about it was Anthony Rizzo. That beautiful Italian continues to prove my theory that baseball players play a lot better when they're not concussed. His RBI single in the top of the fourth that brought home Judge after Stanton hit a big single right before that. Top of the fourth inning, it was a Judge walk, Stanton single, and a Rizzo single. So that single combined with Rizzo's seventh home run of the year, a deep one into right center in the top of the ninth, was all the Yankees needed to win this one here today and take the first game of this three-game set against the Rays. And this was one that maybe we shouldn't be surprised happened. The offensive struggle the Yankees had in this game because I'm, I'm not going to be complaining about it, I promise. But after sweeping Detroit, winning two out of three against Houston, maybe not a big shock. The Yankees come to Tropicana, which has been a house of horrors for them, and they struggle mightily in this game. And mainly that's because Bradley was so good. Um, six innings, four hits, one and run, two walks, and seven strikeouts. A terrific performance today by Taj Bradley. It was really that mistake in the fourth inning that really uh, the Yankees capitalizing on it. It's either a Bradley mistake or the Yankees capitalizing, whichever one uh, fits your viewpoint. But that's what gave the Yankees the edge there. And also, the best start we have seen all season from Clark Schmidt. Six and two-thirds, five hits, no run runs, two walks, six strikeouts for an ERA of 2.95. As we mentioned, it was his best start of the year. He got some help in this game. The Yankees' defense came through for him in some big spots. You had an inning-ending double play in the fourth. You had Trevino gunning down a runner at third. Trevino uh, gunned down two guys today. One in the third and the other, I mean, to be fair, there was, there was one in the seventh inning in which the runner just completely missed the base by about 10 feet. But that counts. You also had Clark getting somebody out uh, at first on a pickoff play. The Yankees getting every out on the base path today. That is something that, we've, that we're not usually seeing from the Yankees. Usually they're the ones that are getting out on, out on the base path. They're not usually the one um, making the outs. They're not usually the ones. It's not usually happening in their benefit. So that was a positive today for the Yankees. And yeah, just Clark looking so good, looking so effortlessly good uh, for six innings in this game. Really uh, shutting the Rays down. It's what we needed. It is. Uh, we would have liked a little bit more offense to give him a cushion, but... It was more than enough, and so that was great there for Clark. Outstanding performance from him. Would have liked to see him gone seven, but Boone made a decision. You know, hey, the Yankees have a good bullpen, so you know what? Go to them, and they'll be fine. Uh, if you can just get them to the seventh inning with the lead, you're usually in a good spot if you're the Yankees, and they did that here. Birdie came in. He got them out of the seventh. Weaver was fantastic in the eighth, two strikeouts there, and another. despite the fact today that the top four of the Yankees today really didn't do anything it's between Volpe, Soto, Judge, and Verdugo. It was the bottom half of the lineup. Stanton, Rizzo, Trevino, and Bart and Birdie getting a single uh, for himself as well today that really catapulted the Yankees to this victory. An impressive win and it, it was, again, it was, it was not the prettiest baseball game to watch but it was a win so all credit to them. Credit to the Yankees defense. Credit to Clark for getting out of some bad spots there. Uh, jam there on the bottom of the fifth. He struck out Alex Jackson to avoid that. As I mentioned, Trevino throwing out Caballero. Uh, Clark picking off a Rosarena. Just great plays the Yankees made. Smart plays today. It's what they needed to do to get this win. They There were a couple home runs today that probably should have been, that would have been home runs if they were in Yankee Stadium. There were a couple home runs that were within a foot between Judge and Soto. Both of them probably, they were this close to hitting home runs. Uh, but they were both uh, outs at the wall. So that was disappointing because that would have really just put this game over the edge. But a win is a win. You take it. Very happy with this performance. Happy with every aspect of this game. You know, again, would have liked more offense, but you're really satisfied with what Rizzo's been doing here, and Rizzo's really picked it up here uh, this season. He's been batting, what, 265? And an argument to be made that all season he's been the second best player we've had. I know at the beginning of the year we could tell as well, though, but he's cooled off a little. Throughout this season, you can make an argument Rizzo's been the second best offensive player we've had, and that is a huge improvement from last year. Good job, Rizzo. Good job, Yankees. Big win for this team. And a perfect start to this series here in Tampa. That's it for now, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to this channel, you like to see, make sure you subscribe down below. I'll be back tomorrow. Yankees Rays game two. Hope to see you then. Take care. God bless. And let's go Knicks.